today i am going to start a new lesson for you that is unit 5 the pressure exerted by solids first of all we will see what is pressure pressure is the perpendicular force acting on an unit area according to the definition you can see that there are two main factors affecting pressure they are the surface area on which the force is acting and the perpendicular force acting on that surface now let's see how those two factors affect on pressure separately first we will move to the effect of force on pressure uh, for identifying the effect of force on pressure you can do a simple activity uh, the activity is clearly explained in your textbook and for that you have to use a cake of soap wire and sandbags first you have to hang the sandbags on the wire and cut the cake of soap using that wire when you are increasing the weight of the sandbags gradually you will see that the wire cuts the cake of soap easily so with these observations we can conclude that if you increase the force then the pressure exerted by that force also increases this is what happened to pressure when you are changing force if you increase the force the pressure also increases if you decrease the force the pressure also decreases <laughs> now we are now we will move to the effect of surface area on pressure uh, here also you can do a very simple activity for that you will need a brick and a sponge the only thing that you have to do is to place the different faces of the brick on the sponge and observe how it shrinks now you will observe that when you place the faces with larger surface area on the sponge the sponge shrinks to a little and when you place the face with lower surface area on the sponge it shrinks more so with the observations you will be able to conclude that the pressure becomes higher when the surface area is lower and the pressure becomes lower when the surface area is higher this is how surface area effects on pressure now using the conclusions we made in the two activities you can derive a simple formula for calculating pressure mathematically this is a standard formula for calculating pressure there you have to divide the force acting on the surface by the surface area the si units of pressure is newtons per square meter it is also indicated by pascals accordingly one newton per square meter is equal to one pascal now let's practice few questions using the formula for pressure here is the first question there are a box weighing 500 newtons with the surface area of 5 square meters at the base is kept on the floor and you are asking to calculate the pressure exerted by the box on the floor before calculating you should write the formula of pressure and then you have to substitute the values for the equation with units writing units with the values is a must here the force is 500 newtons and the surface area is 5 square meters so you have to divide 500 newtons by 5 square meters and you will get the answer as 100 newtons per square meter it also can be written as 100 pascals when writing the answer also you should write the units along with the value and it is a must now we will see another question on calculating pressure here's the question there are a man weighing 600 newtons he is standing on a wooden block placed on a muddy soil the surface area of the base of the wooden block is also given as 0.5 square meters and you are asked to calculate the pressure exerted by the man and the wooden block on the muddy soil here also you should write the formula first and then substitute the values for the formula 
so force is 600 newtons and the surface area is 0 0.5 square meters so you should divide 600 newtons by 0 0.5 square meters you will get the answer as 1200 newtons per square meters or you can write it as 1200 pascals now we will see what are the practical applications of the formula of pressure in our day-to-day -day activities you know that the pressure increases when decreasing the surface area this is applied in making all the sharp tools like nails needles knives scissors and so on uh, also you know that the pressure decreases when increasing the surface area that is why the tires of tractors are built broadly also the caterpillar tracks on diggers and tanks are built with the large surface area so that it will not shrink in soil those are some practical applications of pressure in our day-to-day -day activities and you can find more examples when you observe your surrounding clearly now uh, try to explain this this in incident using what you have learned in the lesson explain why does the wall foundations are built broader than the walls okay now i am going to finish the lesson for today and you can comment any question you get while referring the lesson and we will meet again with new lesson have a nice day